This is the creator set from Thimble. Let's open the box and see what's inside. We have a box with your Seedduino inside. USB cable to connect to your computer. A Thimble sticker. A picture of all the parts in your kit. And the creator set components are in this green box. Now let's take a look inside this green box. Here you can see the LCD screen, the buzzer, button, touch sensor. This actually uh, will hold an LED in these little prongs down here at the bottom. This is a light sensor, a dial, a sound sensor, temperature sensor, and a relay. The LEDs that I mentioned earlier are actually stored underneath. There's a bag here with LEDs. There's another bag that has a servo motor. And there are a lot of different wires in here, particularly these are the wires that you'll use to connect to all these little square components. This wire will actually give you the ability to power your project with a 9 volt battery. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these components. Oh, notice the components all have these little white connectors on them, that's where those wires attach. Underneath the screen here you'll find this uh, foam piece that if you lift this up, which can be a little tricky, lift that up, you'll find a shield inside, we'll attach this in just a moment. All those wires connect to these matching same style connectors what you find on these cards, and that's how you will wire up your projects. Now this is a shield, it's intended to fit on top of the seed Duino. Let's go ahead and grab the seed Duino. And this part goes on top. Now how does it go on top? Well, you'll notice there's a long set of pins, short set of pins, short socket, long socket. So you just gotta stack two of them so that they match. The most important thing here though is do not force it down. The pins will line up you'll be able to gently push it in. Now there's one more little thing to see. We usually look to these side pins. But there's one more set of pins right here. Those will also line up. And when you push it down, it shouldn't uh, require a whole lot of force. You push it down, the pins will still be slightly exposed on the sides, but the pins that lined up here will be completely enclosed inside of that socket there. So you won't see pins here, but you will still see the pins on these sides. Now this is set up and ready to go. Uh, you're going to plug your USB cable into the side here, right there, there's your plug for your USB, plug it to your computer to start your first project.